Today we're making a chicken cobbler, which is pretty much like a chicken pot pie, but it has a lot less dough, okay? It's not encased. This is just a little bit on top and it's delicious. I'm making it as healthy as I can using top quality ingredients. It is gluten-free and it doesn't have to be. So if that's not a concern for you, you can just use regular ingredients. And like I said, it's delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. How do chickens send their mail? In envelopes. Okay, so this recipe requires a little bit of prep work, which means we're gonna be chopping up some onions. And if you cut it up the way I'm doing it here, it'll make quick work of it. And then I'm gonna cut up a few carrots here uh, into coins about this size. And then we'll cut up some celery, which will then make this group a mirepoix, which is a French version of a flavor base. And it makes your soup or your stews or whatever you're making taste really good. And the last thing we're gonna do is cut up some mushrooms. Now you can use button mushrooms or you know the, the little cremini mushrooms, whatever you have. And we're gonna chop these up. I like it super fine, so I'm gonna cut mine super fine, but you can leave it bigger if you like. Now you're going to want to preheat a large frying pan over medium heat and I'm going to add some olive oil to that, probably a couple of tablespoons. Toss in those onions we cut up, the celery, the carrots, I'll give that a little stir, and then the mushrooms. I'm going to saute this for about five to seven minutes or until all the veggies have softened up. In the meantime, we're going to work on our chicken. So I bought a rotisserie chicken here. You can use already cooked chicken, leftover chicken, whatever you want. But using a rotisserie chicken uh, makes things go a lot quicker. All we have to do here is take the skin off. Um, mine ha actually is uh, cold because I had bought it yesterday. And uh, we're just going to take the skin off. I'm going to break it down and just take out all the pieces. And then we'll chop it up into you know little chunks. I usually start with the leg and the thigh and I just pull off the meat, discard anything that you know you don't want to eat, and uh, you can save the bones for chicken broth at a later date if you want. You can, a lot of times I'll stick mine in the freezer and save them until I'm ready to make some nice bone broth. Okay, it's time to get back to our sauteing vegetables. So now I'm adding some minced garlic. You want to add this at the end of your sauteing time so that you don't burn the garlic. So we'll just cook it another minute or two. Now I'm going to add some flour, just a couple tablespoons, and this is going to thicken up the sauce of the dish. Cook this over medium-low heat for about two minutes. That way it'll cook out the flour taste. Next we're going to add some chicken broth and some milk. From Sprouts, I picked up some Pacific Foods Organic Cream of Chicken. Check out these ingredients. Everything in here is a food. And I'm going to place the whole can in there. For spices, I'm going to chop up some fresh rosemary here. Now remember, if you want the written recipe, you can find it below the video in the description area. I'm going to give my pan a good stir to mix everything in, and then I'm going to add some of that fresh rosemary along with about a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. I haven't added any salt yet, so I'm going to add a little bit here, and then I'm going to taste it. And of course, feel free to add more seasonings if you like. Now we're going to fill up our pan with some frozen peas and carrots. I also have corn in this. That's just what I could find at the store. And we're going to add our chicken. Now you want to stir this so that the meat is all coated in the sauce. And then I'm going to leave this on low to simmer while we prepare our cobbler topping. It's time to sneak in a little chef joke. What do you call a great chicken? Impeccable. All right, I'm gonna start off here by placing my wet ingredients in my dish here. This is some Greek yogurt. To that, I'm adding some olive oil, one egg, 2% milk, just a little bit of maple syrup for a hint of sweetness, and then you want to mix that up with a whisk. Don't get too crazy with that whisk like I did. Just get it nice and smooth like this. 
Now I'm going to mix my dry ingredients in a separate bowl, starting with my gluten-free flour. To that we'll add some oat flour, a little bit of salt, a good amount of baking powder, and another teaspoon of that fresh rosemary. Oops, I almost forgot. A little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm going to mix that up to combine. So before we combine our wet and dry ingredients for the cobbler, I'm going to prepare my dish. This is a 9 by 13 uh, Pyrex dish here that I'm just lining with a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to place my filling right in the dish. It's nice and hot and ready to go. Now is a good time to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to smooth this out and make it all nice and level. Now to combine those dry and wet ingredients. So I'm just going to pour the wet right into the bowl. I'm going to stir this with a spoon and you're going to see that it's going to be sort of sticky and that's what we want. You don't want to overmix this but we want to make sure that all the dry ingredients become moistened. Now at this point I'm going to add about a half a cup of grated cheddar cheese and I'm going to just mix that in gently. Now I'm just going to spoon on the cobbler. So we just take some and just kind of plop it right on top. There can be spaces in between. Um, that's fine. But you'll see that it pretty much covers the whole casserole. This is a fantastic dish to take to a party. You know, if you have to bring a dish, this is great. It feeds a lot of people and it's very hearty. I think if you try this dish, I think it'll be on your, you know, regular rotation. You're going to love it. It's really good. Before I put this in the oven, I'm going to sprinkle it with just a light touch of more cheddar cheese. And, you know, it doesn't need to be a lot, just a little bit for a little bit of flavor. This goes in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for somewhere between 25 and 35 minutes. Here's the cobbler at 35 minutes. What you want is that topping to, to be a nice golden brown like it is here. It's a good idea to let this sit for, say, five or maybe ten minutes before you try and take it out of the pan. So here we go. Look at this. It smells delicious in here, and this is delicious, let me tell you. Okay, so I want to know in the comments who's going to try this. If you're looking for a delicious dessert to follow up with that chicken cobbler, you've got to try my blueberry bars. These are easy to make, and they are so flavorful. They're made with wild blueberries. Click the link on the screen, and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.